Hello from a very hot day here in Texas. If you're wondering where Texas is, it's actually located directly on the sun. <laughs> Well, it feels like it. Well, for today's video, I'm gonna show you a way that you can save on your ink, especially when you're filling in large black areas. Well, all right, I'm gonna go have me cool popsicle. My name is Jimmy Reyes, and I'm a professional comic book inker. Welcome to my channel, where I share tips, techniques, and an inside look at my inking process. Even though this is a very simple tip, and the video is not gonna be very long, I did feel that it did deserve its own video, mostly because of the type of pen that I'm using. Uh, the Faber-Castell uh, Pit Pen, and uh, it's the Big Brush. <laughs> so this particular pen has a very dark ink, and it almost matches the Coronor ink that I use. The ink that I use is the Universal India ink. It is from Coronor. It's the same ink used in the Rapidograph Technical Pens. This pit pin has a brush tip um, and it does angle near the front, it gets smaller, find a point. And uh, the reason that I'm not using a Sharpie or using a permanent marker is because of the odor. Uh, because if you work somewhere that's not well ventilated, most likely you're working within your studio and you're working somewhere inside, you don't want to smell up the entire room or office space or wherever it is that you're working. Um, so this particular pit pen is odorless. Um, you can see here I'm laying down pretty much just one layer of ink. Um, some areas I do use the masking tape and that's just to help me keep it nice and clean, keep the lines uh, even on there. and. Uh, if you don't want to use masking tape, you, you don't have to. And that's actually artist tape. Um, but when it's an artist tape, it's a low adhesive masking tape, uh, meaning that it won't stick to your artboard or pull up any of the material underneath. Um, or you can just take your time and uh, use the very fine tip on the point of this pit pen and get up very close to your holding line and fill in the uh, little area there of black. Now I, I like this pen because it is odorless. Uh, it doesn't smell up the, uh, the entire you know, room and, and doesn't, uh, <laughs> doesn't give me a headache because I do have uh, allergies. <laughs> um, and what I like about it is that the ink almost matches the ink that I use with my brush. I ink everything with my brush and nib and they both take, and including sometimes technical pens, they take the same ink, so everything is inked within the same ink, which is the Coronor Universal Ink, high quality ink. I enjoy using that ink, I've been using it for a very long time. But the reason that I'm not using it to fill in that large black area is because the Coronor ink, I buy in a very large quantity, and it's very expensive. So. This is a nice shortcut way to save and use one of these disposable pit pens and uh, save yourself a, a few dollars. Um, so thank you so much. I appreciate you watching the video. And uh, if you enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe, click on the bell icon for notifications, and uh, I'll see you in another video. Be different and ink outside the box.